greet you again in the name of Jesus. Amen. My brother, let me ask you, where do you come from? Pretoria. Pretoria, it's your wife, Pretoria. Yes. <laughs> Mama? From Toyando. Toyando? Yeah. Uh, which side, Mom? Uh, Kazi village is me, Auntie. Kazi village? Eh, Marazu, I found out that. Village, I never do me. <laughs> me, Angie. What do you mean? Me, Angie. How? Oh. It's too That's far. It's too far, too. Mm -hmm. I have never been that side. Mm. Let me ask you, where do you come from? Swaziland. Swaziland. Yeah. Your brother? Zambia. Zambia. Yeah. Mozambique. Mozambique. Mpumalanga. Mpumalanga. You're with Mama? No. Mama, where do you come Eh? Pulukwani. Pulukwani. Did you ma? Eh, ki ki tlegin no. She not kisten ni chukomu ready aka so wait ne mlek anti sham. Oli bi bi chukomu ana lem. Eh, ki tlegin chukomu ana kam. My brother. Canada. Canada. Which side of Canada? BC. BC. Zambia. Canada we are coming. Oh, in Canada we are coming. Zambia. Zambia. Mozambique. Mozambique. My brother? Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. Yes. Which side of Eastern Cape? Tanzania. East London. Tanzania. East London. Mm. Yeah. My, let me ask my brother, then. where do you come from? Switzerland. Switzerland. Is that your wife? Mm. Switzerland. You're also from Switzerland? Yes. Originally, where do you come from? Eritrea. Eritrea. Yes. Ah, these are my people. <laughs> uh, one country that I love so much. You see Eritrea. Ethiopia. Uh, it's like Nigeria. Uh, if you are not from God, you need to not be deep into uh, this bad things. Uh, these small gods. Uh, is God or small gods? So I'm, I'm happy to see you. I'm Thank happy you. to see you. So you can clap us for Jesus. Not together. Is that your mom? Yes. Oh, but you look like your father. Okay. Uh, we are going to see you. I want to tell you this. We are going to see you. God will help you. Amen. Are you ready for God to help you? Amen. Uh, if you come here, we always encourage you pray. 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 Because it's Jesus who bless you. Amen. It's not us. Uh, so after we see you, also go create time of prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So your faith will work for you. If you have faith, it will work for you. I believe so. And I always tell people, uh, don't come here to charities to play. You don't play. Uh, you need to be serious. You become prayerful. So if you come here, also tell yourself, I need to leave here with something. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Tell yourself, I need to leave here with something. And there's no way God can do something. There's no way. There's no way. Sister. There's no way. You see this demon that is sleeping with you? There's no way that this spirit won't leave you. You're hearing me? There's no way. You'll be free to a point that you ask yourself why I delayed to go there. Huh? You'll be free. Do you know what happens when you sleep? Yeah. Huh? You're just surprised your life is mixed up. Huh? What happened to your job? Huh? You're going to lose it. You're going to lose it, but we need to cancel this. You hear me? I see complications here. Huh? That we need to pray for you to so that God can cancel this. And who is your partner? Yes, you don't have a partner with this spirit. So you have been fed all the time. And you're sleeping. So I believe God will deliver you. You hear me? You want to marry? Yes. Oh. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to marry? Shh. Men of God, there is somebody that I really, really love. And I don't know, he just, I don't know. He disappeared. Just stop talking to me. 
I'm gonna say it disappeared. They disappear because if you got a demon, people will disappear. You know, uh, when you are married to a demon, uh, when you don't know, you'll be surprised that all your relationships are not lasting. Because you know, that's what is happening to you. you know, very soon, I see the problem with your blood, your menstruation. So I'm trusting God that the spiritual husband will live. You must not worry, you'll be free. After this, uh, you will be beautiful. Anyone who looks at you, this demon will leave you, you will be beautiful. You have a brother? Yes. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my sister who had an opportunity of sitting down with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres one-on-one. -on -one. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Ndivu Wanepawe. I am from Limpopo, but I'm currently based in Pretoria. What are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? Okay, I think there were mainly two. First one being, I think, delay and disappointment in relationship. Mm. And then the second one is sometimes I would feel pain in my chest. Mm. Yes. And how did the two problems that you mentioned affect you? I think um, <laughs> it causes me sort of stress and sort of depression in a way. Yes. And you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andres one on one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay. I sat with Prophet Andres and what he's told me, he said there's a spirit husband that doesn't want us to marry and it seems like it's in the family. And then he also talked about um, the fact that uh, the spirit husband causes uh, clots. Uh, I have heavy periods. I also take tablets while I'm having my periods or else I'm in extreme pain. And... Yes, I confirm it to be very, very true. I do take tablets. I make sure I have painkillers when during those days. And he also talked about this promotion coming. He talked about, I think, of business I should actually start, which actually made me laugh because every time I think about it, I, I go like, no, it's not for me, it's not for me. But now with the word of prophecy, I think God is saying, go ahead. He also spoke about... Uh, I'm intelligent, I must go back to school. So I, I've been wanting to do my master's, so now I'm going back to register. <laughs> and you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle this morning one-on-one. -on -one. Please take us through your one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, the one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, pro, uh, the Apostle stated that I should not worry. Uh, the disappointment, I am delivered. Um, I must believe and trust God and I will marry. And then he also spoke about there is a pain and it's in the family on the left leg. And I confirm that prophecy to be true because my mother also had a knee problem at some point. And so I confirm it to be true. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? I, a sense of God's peace that God hears and God answers and kisses. And what words of encouragement do you have for somebody who's going to come across this? Um, just to say, every time you pray, God hears, because one of the things that the Apostle said and what Prophet Andrew said was, I'm very prayerful. So sometimes you are praying and you think 
maybe my prayers are just hitting the ceiling, but surely, 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 God hears. Amen.